Okay, today we are looking at trying to get you working on the correct row position for your shoulder blade or your scapula. So a lot of people are having problems when they row or when they do an arm pull, they're doing the wrong things with their shoulder mechanics. And that can be due to pain, due to be weakness, due to be poor habits, bad muscle control. Today we're going to try and show you how to use exercises to try and improve that control and what that control needs to be like. So a lot of time people have pain down here. The old neck pain from, from computers or if they're training too hard, getting neck pain here. And we see a lot of people with pain into the rhomboids and into that levator scap, medial scap. And what it tends to do is it tends to muck up their shoulder movement. They tend to pull incorrectly and they tend to push incorrectly. Now, this episode is about the pulling movement. Obviously, we're doing, we, we get people doing a lot of serratus movement and, and press movement, but we're talking about the pull movement. So with pulling, what we want to focus on this with, with the row is making sure you're doing getting your shoulder blade pulling back correctly, but and you're using a rhomboids, you're using lats, but making sure we access the lower traps to keep the shoulder stable. Most of the time people pull and they pull and they elevate and they use their upper traps to try and compensate because their lower traps aren't working or they use their serrate, their levator scap to pull upwards. And that can lead to a lot of problems when you row, can lead to a lot of neck pain and a lot of shoulder pain, especially in the front of the shoulder. So first things first, we're gonna try and, I'll show you what the correct movement is for the shoulder blade when you pull and then we'll show you some exercises. So if you imagine what you're trying to do when you pull, when you pull backwards, your shoulder blade has to come back first, okay? So shoulder blade comes back, and as I pull back, I'm using the long boards, but I'm trying to work on getting my lower trap activated so my shoulder blade sits down. I pull that right back, and then I'm going to pull through with my arm. Making sure, though, when you pull through, what you're not allowed to do is then rotate, because I'm letting go there. So I've got to pull back, Hold it back, squeeze it back there, pull through, and then when I return, it's just a reverse movement. So return the arm so it's almost straight, and then let the shoulder protract forward. Okay? So if we can start off an exercise, and now you can just grab a pole, it could be a door jam, it could be anything. What I want you working on is starting in that same movement. Now you can go high, which acts as a little bit more track. That same movement, so you pull back, it's the start of the movement. So this is scapular rows using a bar. And you notice this is a closed chain position. So it accesses a lot more stabilizers than, than doing an open chain. So it's a closed chain position. So I'm doing a scapular row. So I'm just pulling my shoulder blade back. And as my shoulder blade pulls back, I'm pulling my body forward. Right? Making sure that I don't go and elevate and access my upper trap to do all the work. I've got to try and keep my my distance between my ear and my shoulder quite level. Okay, so pulling back, squeezing back, and then not just dropping, I've got to slowly release that shoulder blade forward. So that's your scapular row, okay, with a bar. Really good one to start. And then you can start doing with a band. So this is more of an open chain exercise. So I'm now working on trying to do the same movement, but keeping my body still. So this movement here, I'm going from there, and it's just the shoulder blade. Now it's a very low level exercise, it's pretty easy. What you've got to try, it's teaching you though, to do scapular movement correctly when you row. Okay? Most of the time, you're used to pulling, so when you pull back, you'll want to start beating your elbow. So try and avoid that, so it's just shoulder blade, get it right back there, don't elevate it, and then release forward again. Okay, so scapular back, and then forward again. Now, to try and combine that together, you want to do a one-arm row. And we can just use a theraband. Um, if you're a bit weak, you've got a bit of pain, I just suggest go down to one. Um, but I'm using two today. So when you pull through now, so we're going to use the idea of the scapular row. So it's row back, then bend your arm forward. Now, as I come through, I'm still pulling back. I'm not letting it go. Okay, so I still want to get that last few sort of 10, 20 degrees of getting that retraction back and making sure I've got a decent distance between my ear and my shoulder. So I'm not elevating, I'm using my lower trap and make sure you don't arch your back either. So keep that core on. Now 
Now when I'm back here, I've got to try and keep my shoulder blade back as I return the arm. So don't let the shoulder blade pop forward. Okay, keep the shoulder blade back as I return the arm and then let the shoulder blade protract forward. So that's the movement that you guys need to be doing whenever you do any pulling work. Rowing, lat pull downs, that sort of thing. It's making sure your scapula row, pull through, return, return. And I like to do this sort of thing, finger on the back. So finger on the back of that shoulder blade so I can feel when my shoulder blade gets to my finger, pull through. Now keep my shoulder blade on my finger and don't let it pull away from my finger. It's a really nice little cue. You can get that sort of shoulder blade on your finger. So as it comes back, touches your finger, pull your arm through and then keep it there until you need to release it and let it go. So that's your one arm, one arm row. And then we can go, okay, what about pull down? So if we go to something higher, so you come over here, attach it up. So imagine like you're doing a, a one arm pull down like on a cable machine, or you're doing lap pull downs. This is gonna help you perfect that movement through your shoulder. So when you do pull down, when the load gets heavy, when it starts getting heavy, you don't go and do this. Because we find that when people do lap pull downs, the heavier the load, when they pull down, they start, you see those shoulder blades rising up. So we've got to get you going, pulling those shoulder blades down and then pulling through and keeping them down. And then as you return, you've got to keep them down for the first part of the movement and then let them rest. Far too many people let them release too quick. Okay, so this is where you, if you go a bit higher, and again, one arm at a time, because you can access one arm at a time is way better to learn. So we're going from here, down it now if you want to go lower down into one knee shoulder blade down pull right through now here's the trick keep that shoulder blade back using those lower traps down the back here and then release forward okay repeat pull down pull through hold it down there and release forward and this is great for fixing up all those problems with People that are getting pain anteriorly in the shoulder when they pull through, that ball rolls forward and tends to want to roll out of the joint when they pull through and they're getting pain in the front. So it sets that a little bit more correctly and also helps with people who are getting pain in the back here where they're overusing rhomboids, overusing upper traps, overusing levator scap and not accessing those lower trap muscles. So start working on that. Also check out our lower trap exercises that we have on the, on the videos and our serratus anterior for the pressing work.